here's a spot, okay? You gotta find these. You look at the LiDAR, the color topo from Scott at Northwoods Mapping, and we find this. This is what you're looking for. You can see it's kind of a hump there. If I get down, it's higher than the swamp. You can see the red azure dogwood is everywhere in here in these tamarack swamps. Okay, but that's a pain in the neck right there. Now, we will, we do have high ground. We will have food through the woods that way, but this can be a spot for a buck. Now, what I want to do here is I'm capitalizing on these two huge trees right on the outsides of these, as well as the balsam that's not going to fall over for a long time. What I mean by that is if you have these huge live trees, what they'll do is they'll keep the growth down in these swamps. And you can see that if anything gets hit by sun in these swamps, it's just thicker than dog hair. And it's good food. It's good. I mean, it's great habitat. But when we build a bed, this is kind of a spot where you go, you know what? I want a buck to use that. And I don't want to come in here at all to maintain it because it's just a pain in the neck walking through this stuff. So it looks like something's already got one over here. I'm going to give him another one. See, that's a nice big bed right there. But right here is another great spot with a little bit of higher elevation. So all I'm going to do is trim up these couple of branches on that balsam, give them a spot here to lay down, and color good. So I'll show you that when the when the uh, process is done. All right, so there's the finished product. Just took out a few branches. There's that one. And then we already saw the one around the corner over there. And then I also found one right here. Now this one I really like, maybe he does too, just because it's got some nice soft vegetation. I see a lot of beds built by clients where, you know, they scrape down to the dirt with a shovel and everything. Well, the problem with that, especially up here in the swamps is, you get down to the dirt and you're gonna end up with a whole bunch of tree seed germinating and then you got a whole bunch of pegs coming up. I like to just leave the moss and the grass and then spray it with 2,4-D and leave it grass. Eventually the perennial grass takes over in the bed and the deer just kind of mow it off while they're laying there. But that's what I like to do just because then it's less maintenance for me. You can see this is just a nice little nook. And all we did was we looked up, found big mature trees. We knew that that meant there was a hump here that was possible to grow things. So it's obviously a little drier spot. And we came in here and you can see I gave them little pegs. All I did was lop that off, lop that off. Those aren't worth hinge cutting. Now what I did with it, did there with that elm and this green ash was I just gave them some food pegs. Those will stump sprout. And I can also do that around this area. Great thing to have on you guys is the silky saw, but an even better thing if you know you got a spot like this or you're gonna go find a bunch is bring back one of the you know really good, good brand name uh, hedge trimmers cordless with a few batteries in your backpack and you can make a bunch of these in an hour. This is Jake Bull the Habitat Pro. We are in the Tamarack Swamp of Northern Minnesota.